Right, to begin our wings, you're going to put this aside and we're going to just start our wing. We will be attaching it to this, but not quite yet. And you're going to start off by doing seven chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay, seven. So you're chain. going to skip the first three. Okay, so you did your chain of seven, then you're going to skip these three. One, two, three. And you're going to go into the fourth chain with a double crochet. So you're going to do one double crochet there. Then you're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to chain one and you're going to do a double crochet in your last stitch. And that's your very if first you're familiar one. with um, Bruges lace, you have these chains on the end which form little chains and you usually have double crochet, well not usually, but your generic one is double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. But I've skipped one chain and I've done a chain above it. So this is slightly different if you are familiar with the stitch. Okay, now you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And you're going to turn your work around. And you're going to be repeating what I'm showing you now for quite a few rows. So you're going to be repeating the next two rows that I've shown your four and then you're going to do one double crochet in this very first double crochet and then you're going to chain one and then you're going to do a double crochet in the next double crochet so you skip that one do one double crochet in here and a double, and a double crochet in your last stitch Okay, then you chain four, one, two, three, four, turn your work around and one double crochet in the next two. And I go into the very first one, so one and then into the next one, whoops. And then you're going to chain one and do one double crochet in the end stitch. Okay, so this is forming the basics of this beginning part. Okay, so you've got a little space. You're going to have this little chain space all the way up your work. And it's going to be on the same place. So I'll do it again with you. I just wanted to show you the two rows that I showed you these, what you're going to keep doing. And you, ha you have a chain four on each end. So like now I've got to do chain four. But we're going to have this little chain space over here. And it's going to be on the same side. So don't make a mistake and put your chain one there. You're going to do two double crochets there, a chain one there and a double crochet in your last one and you do chain four. So we're going to keep doing that. I'm going to do it with you one more. So these two rows that I've just shown you, these are the two rows that you're going to keep repeating. Right, so I'll show you these two rows that you're going to keep chain repeating. Four, turn your work around, go into the very first double crochet with a double crochet. Now, because you've got your little space here, you, you, you know that you've got to do chain one and then you do double crochets in these last two. So, one in here and a double crochet in here. That was the first row. Then chain four, one, two, three, four. Turn your work around and just reverse it. Double crochet in these first two. So, one in there, one in the next. And then you can see you got your chain space, so chain one and one in your last double crochet. And then you do your chain four again. So this part here is really easy. And then you turn and then you start doing it again. This is your, your lace, your tape. It's called your Bruges tape or your lace tape. I'm not sure what all it's called. But this is the tape. So this is the tape that we are starting to make. Now, you're going to keep doing that until you have... Okay, so if you with the Bruges lace, um, you make a tape and you form various turns. When it comes to Bruges lace, you f you're making tape. This is called your tape. And you are making various turns with it and forming things out of it. So, having said that, our very first turn, you need to be sure that your two double crochets, not this space, not the chain space side, this is to your left. Okay, with this on the left we're going to be making our first turn coming this way, with those over there. Okay, 
Now I'm saying that because you need to make sure when you've got 10 of these chain fours, one, two, three, that's my next one being made. When you have 10 of those, stop and then watch the video again because I'll show you what to do next. So I'm going to just go ahead and do mine and when I've got my 10, I'm going to join you again and show you what to do next. And as I say, this is your real easy part. You do your chain four, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain four, double crochet, chain one, double, double, chain four. And you're going to just keep repeating that until I, until with your work, your double two double crochets on your left hand side and with 10 of these. Then I'm going to meet you back here. So go ahead and make your tape and I'll meet you back now. All right, so this is the 10th one that I'm busy doing. That chain is the 10th. You can just count them. I've got mine lying properly here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is number 10 that I'm doing. So I'm doing that and I'm going to finish this row and I'm going to come back. So a double, a double, chain one, and a double, and then chain four, one, two, three, four, and then turn around and come back. Okay, double, and a double. All right, so we've got one, this is with your double crochets here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you did 10 and I wanted you to wait for me there, so you did 10, you went back and now we're going to do number 11 and we're going to go back on this side and by doing two double crochets, double crochet and then in your last one, one double crochet and then you do four, one, two, three, four. Turn your work around and come back. Okay. And your two here. So now you should have 11 of these on the inside. So you should have 11 on the inside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we're about to start with our fourth one. And that's with your double crochets here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be turning our work. So keep it exactly the same as this now with your double crochets here. And you're just going to flip your work around. Keep it exactly flat like this. And you're going to be joining this side onto this side. I'm trying to keep this a little further, the camera further so you can see. Okay, so you're just joining it. Don't bend it in any way. And go into this very first stitch and you're just going to do a slip stitch now it doesn't really matter where you do it just go in the very first stitch we bring you closer so you go into this first stitch over here and then you're going to go into the last one as I say it's not the end of the world where you're just attaching these two parts and I'm just slip stitching them okay and then you should be looking like this Okay, now we're going to flip our work around and we're not going to do chain four, which we would have done. We're just going to come back over this one. Okay, so we were like this. We attached this side onto there. We did it on the beginning one. We did it on the end and you flip your work around. And now we're going to just continue and go into these first two double crochets like you were doing as normal. That's one. That's another one. Two. And then it's chain one. And double crochet in this last one. And then you're going to do your chain four again. One, two, three, four. And turn your work around. Okay, and you should be looking like this now. Alright, so you should be looking like this because we turned around and now we're going to work just on this part here. Now guys, this is a little bit tricky. I'll be honest, it's, it's not for beginners. But if you follow me with the video, you sh you'll be okay. This is now our outside. Make sure that you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
and this is our 12th one which is now on the outside our 12th chain 4 that we've made because I'll show you now why now you're going to go into this first double crochet again chain 1 because that's where our space is and then 2 double crochets just do it in there now you would have done a chain 4 but we don't want to do a chain 4 on this one okay so just remember that you you don't for this one you don't want to do that now it's just because it's going to get into the way of this one I mean it's not the end of the world if you do it but we don't want to but what we're going to do is we're going to do chain 3 for our very first double crochet okay so it's not going to be coming around it's for our first double crochet and you're going to turn your work around and you're going to go into the second one and we're going to keep going chain one go into there and then chain four one two three four and then turn your work again okay so we're continuing with our ribbon going up here we just didn't want to have another loop over here because it would have looked a little bit funny so all you do is you leave it out you just don't put that loop in over there okay so but at this stage you should have okay so you should have your one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve this is the thirteenth little loop that we've just made on the outside and you're going to come and finish this row okay and remember that looks a little off it's your double crochet that you had chain three with but just go into the end of that chain three okay okay so this is the 13th loop that you've made on the outside now what we're going to do we have to do chain four but i want to join it onto this very first loop here on this side of your work Yes, I'm wanting to join it on. So I'm wanting to join. There's number 13. I came back. I've got to do chain four, and I want to join it with this one. So I'm just going to do chain two, and then I'm going to join it into this one. Join it in this one with a slip stitch. I just went over the top of the stitch, and then chain two again. And there's your chain four. Okay. So you did chain two slip stitch this one I just went over the top chain two and then you're going to turn your work around and you're going to continue go into your first double crochet the second one chain one and into your next one chain four and turn and then come back on this one with your double crochet chain one and your two doubles on here okay now we want to do the same thing with the next loop because that was number 14 now we're going to join to we're going to do the exact same thing and join it onto this next loop here so this is what it's looking like now you don't want to use big chunky yarn because it's not going to lie flat but now we I just wanted to show you from far this is that's the first loop we went into now we're going to come into this loop and we're going to do the same thing chain two slip stitch chain two and then continue here so this is number 14 that's number 14 because this is number th number one here okay so we're going to do the exact same thing in our next loop chain slip two. stitch and chain two and then turn your work again and come back on your tape double crochet double crochet chain one whoops and double crochet and then chain four one two three four and this chain four is number 16 because you've taken two of these up already okay so now you're going to come back 
did you chain four come back and always just follow the pattern with the chain one and two doubles here oops I went a bit tight there one double and our second double and then chain four well it's the chain four but we're still going to we're going to use our next loop we're actually using five of these loops we've used two already now we're using the next one but with this one we're going to be joining with a double crochet so I'm going to do two chain and then I'm going to do a double crochet in this next loop and then you're going to do two chain and you're going to turn your work around and you're going to come back on this side chain one and your double crochet and then chain four and this one is number 17 this the chain loop that you've made here and that's including the ones that you've joined so don't forget about those so for this this next chain four we are not going to join it one two three four we're not joining this next chain four because it's too much of a stretch so we're going to just do a chain four come back but we will be doing this on the next round so just chain four turn your work and do your double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet and then chain four one two three four and this should be the 18th one I'm just keeping track so I know where I am that's number 18 and then you're going to come back with the double crochet chain one and your two two double crochets here one two okay and then this one we are going to join okay so we didn't join it with that one but we're going to join it now with this one the same way with a double crochet so one two and then go into that loop and just be sure it's the next one we've used that one so it has to be this one the double crochet chain two and then turn your work and come back on your tape so you are working with on your tape and just joining as you go okay chain one double crochet okay, your double crochet chain four one two three four turn your work and we're coming back and for this one we are also going to skip that next loop like we did just coming back on your tape now so for this one you're also just going to do chain four one two three four and you're not going to join this one you're not going to join it there you're going to turn around and go back again so my two double crochets chain one double crochet chain four one two three four turn your work around come back on this lace all right so we did this double crochet then we left this chain four went back and came back here so now the next thing that we have to do is we're going to be joining onto our next loop over here so you're going to do another double crochet so we're going to just do chain two not four so it's chain two over there and then the same thing as you did on the others you're going to come and do your double crochet in here and i go over the top and then you're going to chain two again and then you turn your work and we're now going to be working back double crochet double crochet chain one double crochet okay so you should have your single your single then you should have a double one loop your double one loop your double now over here because we went this way 
we're going to be joining this onto our body so put your head that way and we're going to be joining in this section here so you're going to do we're going to be joining one here and then one over here so it's where it came in over there so you have to so we were this way okay now you're going to do your chain two and we're not doing a full loop so we're not doing all four we're going to do our chain two and then we're going to join on here and i'm coming under this and just find a good little spot there i like to take enough yarn and just do a single crochet and then finish your two chain and then you're going to turn your work again okay and then you're going to flip your work over and it's like this okay so now we're coming back this is the tape that we're busy working on so you all you did was on your four your chain four you joined it over there okay so now we want to come back and we want to finish this so you're going to do one double crochet in your first so you're just going to finish this little story over here and, and then two over here and two Okay, now what we're going to do, so you should be looking like this now. That's our butterfly over there. Okay, and this is what you've got here. So there's your double crochet. So you've got one, two, three double crochets. One, so we just joined it there and we came back. Now what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook three times. And you're going to come back into this very same loop. Okay. So you're going to one, two, three, and you're going to come back into this same loop that you had just been in. Go through two, go through two, go through two, and go through two. All right, so for this one now, you're going to chain two. And you're going to do a one, two, three times around your hook. A double treble and you're going to go into this very same space as you had done the previous double crochet go through two go through two go through two and then do your other two chain okay and you're going to look like that now we're going to come back on this one so you're going to come back here so we flip it around and we're going to come back okay with your double crochet in here and this is exactly the same as what you have been doing. Double in there. Double in here. The second one, then a chain one. And double crochet in here. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing as you did there. You're going to chain two and then where your body is coming in, you're going to go to the top part of it right over there. So chain two. And then do a single crochet okay, and a single crochet over there okay and then you're going to do your chain two and then turn your work around and come back and then we're coming back on here so you can see you're really working on this tape and you're just joining on here and you're joining on there okay so now we're going to come back doing the same thing second one and for this side now you're just going to do your chain four one two three four and you're not going to be joining it on here you're just doing your chain four and you're going to come back on your lace okay so you flip it over and come back on your lace one two okay so now you've just come back and now we going to go back onto this one so this one and this is going to be the same as what you did just kind of go up to where your you're going to be doing three you're going to do one here you're going to do one here and one kind of at the top not quite at the top more here so just get it in kind of skip a row I suppose. chain two chain two first one two and then go in there 
I'm just going to go in there with a single crochet and chain two and then turn your work around again and come back. Okay, so then we come back. Okay, and then this is just chain four here. One, two, three, four, and you turn around. So now we're coming back towards the body and we're going to join it one more time. So it's a double there, double here, chain one, double in there, and then we're going to join it one more time. So one, two, I'm going to join it roughly here. We'll just join it more or less here. Just so it's kind of equal, I'm going to just join it roughly here. And then you're going to do your chain two and you're going to come back on this side. And then you're going to just go back one, chain one, double crochet, double crochet, and your chain okay. four. So you're going to keep going on your tape now. You're not going to join on here. You're going to go across, do your loop, come across until you have about 17 loop not about when you have 17 loops on this side the outside that's when you're going to stop so let me just do one with you so that you can see so we're going to flip it and go in here again double crochet double crochet chain one and double crochet in your last one and then you're going to do your chain four one two three four Turn your work around and do exactly what you have been double crocheting there. Chain one and your two double crochets here and then chain four again. So you're just doing your tape here. One, two, three, four. So you've tied it on there. So what you should have is you should have, you did a single crochet, single crochet, and then you did your double in this loop. Then you had one loop left, double there, one loop. Then you did a double crochet in here and you did a double treble in here three times around and then you joined it on here 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 now from here you from here onwards you're going to just make your tape okay just make your tape straight because we're going to be turning it around but you need 17 loops from here so once you've got 17 here i'm going to meet you back here so just go straight with your tape until you have 17 of these loops and then I'll meet you back here.